Welcome, Bar Tactics here, and today we are going to take a look at how to install Ultimate Apocalypse mod, namely the version 1.73.9. Okay, so before we even start, I want to make sure, like I saw a lot of comments that uh, the, that people could not install or all that uh, stuff. So I will make uh, like very sure you can't fail, like it's almost impossible. Hopefully everyone will be able to install the mods. So. First of all, before we even start downloading files and all that stuff, make sure you uh, have the latest version of Dawn of War Soulstone. So, uh, if you have the CD version, install Dawn of War Soulstorm and patch it to the latest version, which is 1.2. And uh, if you, of course, have Steam, then uh, don't just download it and yeah. Uh, it should automatically be updated and today we are going to install it for the Steam version of Soulstorm but it, don't worry it will work for the CD version as well so there won't be any problems so once uh, you and also also you should uh, make sure you don't have an older version of Soulstorm uh, I mean of Ultimate Apocalypse mod install like older than 1.73 if you have some problem, you might want to uh, try to install it with a clean Soul Store installation uh, folder or whatever. So have a clean vanilla Soul Store if you have any problems. Anyway, so once that's all done, go to the description, uh, like uh, the description zone or whatever of this video, and you'll see all the links you require. So. He, uh, you'll also have a link here to the main page and I also will uh, leave uh, links for e every file you need so if you go to the main page and uh, scroll down you should uh, get to the the latest download section here and click on more downloads button over here and then he, uh, you will have a complete view of all the uh, the version that were before and uh, that became outdated. So what you need here is the Ultimate Apocalypse full version. So 1.73. So that's the like uh, installer. Everything that comes after it, it are like patches. So you need the Ultimate Apocalypse version 1.73 and then you need the Ultimate Apocalypse patch 1.73.9. You don't need any other uh, patch. You just need the latest one. So just uh, click on uh, it like the 1.73 and it should open a window, window like this and then click on download now and you, it will probably automatically start or if uh, it uh, says I don't know we can't just select mirrors or uh, if there are no mirrors available just wait a, I don't know a minute or two and basically it should work so once you downloaded the 1.73 full version and the uh, Ultimate Apocalypse patch 1.739 the next thing you need is the Terranid mod. And of course I will leave a link so that you can find it easily. And then you just scroll, scroll down here and you need the Terranid mod version 0.5b2. So the versions are very important. If you install other versions it would probably not work. So you need the Terranid mod version 0.5b2. Okay, so basically that's all the files you'll need to in order to make Ultimate Apocalypse mod work. And yes, sadly, in this version you only can, uh, have the Terranid mod. You don't have the Demon Hunt or the Demons mod. So yeah, hopefully in the next uh, version, full version of Ultimate Apocalypse, we'll get those guys back. And if you have any more doubts, this is like the quickest way to explain this. Basically, you need to install Terranids. After that, you need to install the full version 1.73. And then install the patch 1.73. Not 4, but 9. So basically, this is the, like the latest uh, version. Anyway, so, but I will show you, so don't worry. So once we've done with this, let me just close Chrome. Okay, there we go. 
um, th you should go to the folder where you installed the, I mean installed, downloaded the files. I'm also having here like, uh, okay, I don't know if uh, it will automatically, like the installer will automatically find my, uh, let's see. So the first thing, the first step one, you need to install Terranid mod. That's the first thing you want to do. And the order uh, you, uh, has a point. It's not random. Okay, so install Terranid mod. Yes, accept. It's a normal install. Okay, so it seems it does not know where my Dawn of War system folder, uh, main folder is. So, if you have a Steam version, what you will need to do is to... Um, oh, let me just show you over here. So, click on this button. And okay, there we go. So find your Steam folder. Mine is over here on in online. Okay, Steam. So this is my main Steam folder. Here I am going to look for the Steam apps folder, then common, and then here are my games. And I want to install it in the Dawn of War Soulstorm main folder. Okay, basically this is all set. So, um, yeah, just make sure it's in your main folder. Once you are sure, just click next and start. And this should uh, not take uh, like half an eternity, hopefully. And you can also check it. Uh, like, you can always check if the mod is installed where it should by going to uh, your uh, Don't Over Soulstorm folder, main folder, you don't need to, like, don't install in any of these uh, smaller folders, in the main one. And here you should be already able to see, I guess, uh, only see the objective point. Okay, the Terranids folder right here, and there should be also a um, module. Fine, let's see, once this is done. Okay, so installation completed. So the first step is done. And just check your uh, Dawn of War Soulstorm. Okay, that doesn't matter. So check your uh, Soulstorm and you should have like a Terranid module. Basically that means that it's okay, everything, and yeah. So once that's done, you need to install the uh, UA, like this file, this is the main one, and it will be named UA underscore 1.73 underscore installer. So just click on it, it's just an exam, no problem. And if I remember correctly, like, uh, you won't need to edit in this version, like, uh, the file of the Tyranid. Like in the version 1.78, you had to put uh, in the Ultimate Apocalypse module, you had to put some, t some, uh, uh, some text there so that it can see the terrain mod, but you don't need to do that anymore, so that's fine. That's why I've taken the older version of the how to install. Okay, so basically it's just the same. Um, okay, agree, next. So here uh, again we need to give it the proper location, not programs, but online. There we go. Um, Steam. Where are you? Man, so many folders. Why couldn't they just make a folder right at in the main Steam folder? Like, oh no. Okay, don't over source them. So yeah, it's uh, there. Click next and start. So let's see how fast this is going to be. Hopefully, uh, really fast. And basically, once this step is done, you just need to unrar this in your main uh, Dawn of War Soulstorm and it should work. Okay, let's just. Uh, Man, this might take uh, a while, so I think I'm going to, uh, like, this is a big mod, it has like one gigabyte of 
Yeah, so I'm, I think I'm going to pause the video right now and be back when everything is like when this bar is filled and installation is complete. So, see you in a bit. So, here we go. It's already, um, how is it called? Let me just check it. Okay, there we go. So, it has finished uh, installation. Then just click next. Yes, exit. Okay. So let's just check. Is it here? Yes, there we go. So Ultimate Apocalypse and the Terranid. But don't start it yet. You will have, a, I guess, an error. Just wait. The last thing you need to do is to get the latest patch, which is Ultimate Apocalypse patch. And just let, um, let's open it. Use 7-zip or WinRAR, whatever uh, archive uh, program you have. And uh, yeah, there we go. You can also re please read whatever that stuff. And let's just um, open the what I have. And always check the main folder. That, that's what you want. Okay, there we go. And it will ask us to over overwrite some files. And just click yes to all. And now. It kind of, yet again, will take some time, sadly. Oh man, my, my computer can be so fast sometimes. So I guess it's time for another break. So see how when this is done as well. Okay, so once everything is done, you just want to go to your um, Steam folder. And before I start Dawn of War, a quick recap. So basically you need to install the Terranid mod, the 1.73 full version and the 1.739 patch. And you are done. Now, uh, let's start uh, Dawn of War Soulstorm. So, see ya in the game. So now Dawn of War Soulstorm is started. As you can see, it's not the the mod it never automatically starts so what you want to do is to go to the game manager right click on uh, you'll have this uh, like under army painter click on it and then you should uh, have like the terran mod so basically you can play the terran mod just by itself so standalone and you want to choose either the ultimate apocalypse 1.73.9 or with the Terranids, but we are going to um, use with the Terranids because I guess obviously it will if it does the if the base game like base mod works then uh, and it works with Terranids then basically the base game will work on its own supposedly. So once you select what you want, just click activate. Yes, so as you can see, it works. Ultimate Apocalypse uh, mod. As you can see right there, it's uh, uh, it says Ultimate A with Terranids 1.73.9 build 452. And as you can see here, we have a Sister of Battle with uh, Leonard Gog or how it's. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to butcher that name. He made the uh, cool skins for the. Um, Battle system. If I if I am correct, maybe I yeah. And as you can see, there we go. The Terran needs work as well. Yes. Look at how much stuff. Oh yes. And uh, let's see. You have. Let's just see the Tau. Okay, the Tau. Do you have anything new? Yep, you do. Oh my goodness. Let's. Uh, uh, Mako Titan, oh yeah, oh yeah, and uh, so basically it works. Okay, let's just go back. So if you uh, if you like go into the game manager and it says um, either you. So first of all, if you go to ma game manager and you don't see the ultimate apocalypse, then it means it. You, like it's not properly installed in the Dawn of War main folder. So basically, it means a reinstall must be done, or 
like something went wrong or if you click activate game and it says fail to activate then yet again it basically it's not like uh, it's it's a certain error and it's a quick fix it just says that it cannot load the mod for a certain uh, for whatever reason it can be 1000 reasons so yeah but if you follow step by step everything it should work it should work so hopefully everyone will be able to install the mod and have fun so and i also hope you found this video helpful and see ya in the next